Day three of the Coca-Cola Kaya Majola Under-19 Cricket Week began with huge promise as all the teams looked forward to the exciting T20 format. After two days of time cricket and consistent rain interruptions, the boys were eager to get out in the middle, none more so than border left arm quick bowler Ngazi Sigwili, who blasted out two of the Limpopo batsmen before the heavens opened. The boys trudged off the field and the rain showed no sign of letting up, with Limpopo 27 for two. No further play was possible on the waterlogged field. It was much the same down the road at Glenwoods Field, where Western Province had been 26 without loss against Northwest. Sadly, all the morning fixtures were washed out. Whatever that's going to happen in the field needs to be called off or decided by, by the final decisions of the umpires. So yeah, it's probably that. To be honest, I don't think we'll play at all for the rest of the day. Um, yeah, we only, what, we only played four overs, so yeah, it's a bit unlucky for both sides to be honest. <laughs> the afternoon session also looked a little bleak. But luckily, the Berea Rovers ground, more commonly associated with the Sharks rugby, did provide the only playable pitch and outfield. Having set Free State a target of 109 in their 20 overs, the Northerns boys looked keen to complete a victory with the ball. Free State opening pair Hanko Olafia and Christian Stein looked to set the foundation before Olafia was caught for two off Dustin Melton's bowling. Wickets continued to tumble around Stain, with four needless runouts looking like they might derail the Free State run chase completely. With the score on 61 for 6, in strode Nico Lopesa to join the defiant Stain. Lopesa seemed to have little interest in running ones and twos, and blasted four sixes well over the ropes to effectively snatch any hope of victory away from Northerns. Free State winning by three wickets in the only match to be completed on the day, Christian Stain finishing 45 not out. From the beginning we said we're going to keep the intensity high because it's so easy to bat yourself into a hole but some of the runouts that came was just just unlucky because it was just a few inches it could have just been a bad throw or something but credit goes to Northerns because they really fueled it well and took their chances but at the end it was just lucky that we could have pulled it through. The weather we can't do anything about it it's, it's Durban um, we're actually lucky enough to play because uh, I mean I think I think we're the only guys that are playing today and um, you know, unlucky that we lost, but grateful to play.